What's the point, so the point of sending them to some place where uh, they're out of reach of uh, constitutional rights or, or international legal rights? So without even investigating the, looking into the studies, but important studies by the uh, ACLU, by the, uh, uh, by quite a number of others, uh, the Center for Constitutional Rights, others have carried out important inquiries, but even without even looking at them, we already know what's going on. Torture. No other reason for them being here. In fact, we could ask a further question. How come Guantanamo is in the hands of the United States? It's Cuba, after all. It's doing in the hands of the United States. Well, the answer is uh, the United States uh, invaded Cuba in 1898. Uh, here it's called the li liberation of Cuba. <laughs> in fact, it, the U.S. invaded Cuba to prevent its liberation from Spain. Uh, by now, scholarly record is quite substantial. Invaded Cuba to prevent its liberation from Spain turned it into a virtual colony. Uh, in 1902, under military occupation, uh, the U.S. Uh, forced Cuba to sign a treaty, which among other things, which granted the U.S. the right of intervention, but also granted them use of uh, the Guantanamo port, an important port in Guantanamo Bay, the major port in Cuba. Uh, it, it granted, of course, that's a, a treaty under the, you know, under military occupation, it's totally meaningless, uh, but the U.S. insists on it and refuses to give it up. Uh, the treaty is even violating its own illegal treaty. The treaty <laughs> says that the court could be used as a coaling station. It didn't say it could be used as a torture chamber. There is a place to uh, uh, get rid of uh, Haitian refugees who uh, Clinton uh, refused to regard as uh, political refugees, called economic refugees, because they were fleeing from uh, torture, the mass torture that the U.S. was backing. Nothing in the treaty said that. Uh, nothing in the treaty says can be used as a torture chamber. Uh, so we're violating our own illegal treaty uh, by even holding them there. And furthermore, one of the main reasons why the U.S. is keeping Guantanamo is just to prevent the, de the development of Cuba. It's another long story. But this blocks the development of eastern Cuba, the price of it, its main, one of its main ports, its access to the outside world. Uh, all of this is background. Uh, known, but unknown, because we don't want to know it. And uh, one question is, well, what can we do about it? Your question, and the answer is, anything we feel like. Uh, we have a legacy of freedom, won by struggle by our predecessors. We have, most of us, a fair amount of privilege, gives opportunities to anyone. you want. Uh, you can compel your uh, congressional representatives to uh, uh, cancel the everything that's going on there, and also give it back to Cuba, uh, which is what ought to happen. And uh, in regard to Cuba, uh, one conceivable possibility, I realize remote, but conceivable, uh, is that uh, government policy might follow, pay attention at least, to the will of the overwhelming majority of American citizens, or that the media might report the will of the overwhelming majority, about two-thirds. Uh, Americans think that the U.S. ought to have diplomatic relations with Cuba and end the torture, the illegal embargo, and the whole rest of it. Well, that's just two-thirds of the American population. If it was possible to discuss these matters, the numbers would be much higher. But it doesn't enter into policy in what we like to think is a functioning democratic system. It's by no means the only example. So the answer to what we can do is we can be real conservatives. We can say the, take the position of the large majority of the American population and uh, say, yeah, I think the government ought to pay attention to the large majority of the population. The media and commentators ought to report it. Uh, we should establish diplomatic relations with Cuba and the torture and terror, uh, give them back the uh, uh, region that we basically stole from them at gunpoint. And in the course of doing this, end the atrocities that are going on there. In fact, uh, end the whole background of uh, presidential uh, uh, authorization to declare people out of beyond the law, uh, enemy combatants, which was reaffirmed by Congress in one of the most uh, outrageous uh, pieces of legislation that has ever passed in the United States, the Military Commissions Act. Uh, 